father and some of the music of my father. So there's a generation in between. This next song is the first time that I became conscious that there was such a thing as Puerto Rican music, which is actually the old Cuban forms that were taken by Puerto Ricans to the Big Apple to New York City. There were Cubans present, but it was less of them because of the revolution in Cuba. They couldn't travel so easily, so the next big immigrant uh, uh, group in the, in the 60s were Puerto Ricans. And they took those old Cuban forms, that music that was played by these huge orchestras, and it was a far more refined music, and they made it more street, and they made smaller groups of people, and they played the stuff in a mix with jazz, mixed with blues, and it became darker, it became less necessarily for dancing, although yeah, it's always been dance music, but it became reflective a little bit more of the street culture, and it was a dark time, you know, these were um, lower income neighborhoods, and there was a lot of drugs and a lot of gangs, and at the same time there was a lot of humor in the music, and when I was a kid and I listened to this stuff, I, I liked the slower, darker Son Montuno, it's called. It's like Cuban forms that played in the city by di slightly different instruments, vibraphone, piano, and not, a, not too much percussion. And um, it became more minimal and a bit darker, but there was always a hint of humor in there. And this is one of those songs uh, by Yo Cuba Sextet, who are actually a bunch of Puerto Ricans in, in New York. Y dice así el ratón. Mi gato se está quejando que no puede vacilar si donde quiera que se mete su gata lo va a buscar Che brinca la verga, oh yeah, que está detrás de su casa, a ver si puede fungarse allá, sin que ya lo pueda ver. No tan pronto está de fiesta, si el pete felino tiene que echar a correr, no su gatita sepa. Y es tan simple, tan simple la razón. 